Hello guys and welcome to another Adventure Story Channel video. I'm very happy that you are watching my videos and you are stay tuned. I like your comments, I like your likes and your subscriptions. It's very important your interactive action for this channel to stay alive and to be a big community. Please share your vi my videos if you like them, okay? And if you believe that they will help when more and more people uh, here I have today a nice video which is about bilge holding okay and I will tell some important tips for you to know because I like the information to be shared and to be easily accessed to everyone okay let's start we have bilge holding okay I will tell some basics about to prepare the tanks okay for every tanks you must remember that this is enclosed space and you need first to measure the atmosphere before getting inside okay and as we know this tanks is covered by a place okay with cover which is uh, bolted by bolts and uh, bolts and uh, it's secured by them have also a rubber seal around a gasket First of all, we remove these cover holes, okay? Uh, maybe there is one or two, but we remove them and we put a air to blow inside, okay? We, we vent for one, two days and after we measure the atmosphere to see how it's going inside, okay? For two days, it's enough for the capacity of the tank, okay? I will talk about the bilge holding, okay? Which is located inside uh, engine room and as the atmosphere is good and chief officer take measurements we make also a enclosed space entry uh, permission okay this is a paper which we write by hand and there we also make checkings some specified time okay we check uh, every hour or every two hours at least also the persons who are going inside is at least two okay because uh, if one feels uh, dizzy the other one maybe can help him and one person is always stand outside it's for support with walkie-talkie and communicate with other person to ask them if it's everything all right and if they're feeling good okay it's better also to take some breaks to go up and also the light which is going inside must be isolated from the water okay must be a waterproof type and let's go inside to bilge holding tank okay let's say that we are inside okay the most of the sediments okay they will be on the walls and also down in the ground and be stuck by the gravity okay the gravity everything pulls down but as you can see here there is also some black spots here on the walls okay this is the bottom okay this is how it look inside is some like kind of like mud okay which is removed which you can remove by uh, pump okay here with pump and water it will come break and also it can collect by some uh, equipment okay some brushes but these walls will remain like that okay because this is thick very thick and for me this is uh, stays stuck to the wall okay this is not necessary to take out okay it's not big deal that one it's never will be shine again okay this is a work which is very difficult also it's very dangerous because this uh, kind of waters inside it's uh, contained microbes okay everywhere where is water located it's their microbes okay just remember that okay and it's not good for crew to smell that and they work with high pressure it's no good that okay as you can see the bottom it's very clean this is the most important to not have sludges like that if this it's very difficult to take out it's better leave like that okay 
if you see something it's removable okay remove it but if not it's okay it will be stuck there and will not move uh, more this okay we collect this one here because if there is uh, water and dust this uh, mood remain there it's very bad if the ship is rolling everything it's uh, mixed inside and when you go to start your oil water separator there will be a lot of alarms okay but if you remove this dust and uh, mud, everything will be fine. Mud. mud. Uh, it's quite a lot, okay. In the walls, it's, uh, it's okay. Everything goes down. Okay, this is how it looks like. And it's not in all sections like that. Maybe this is in some sections. Inside I check before I go down. It's very good, it's very clean. As you can see the boots here, they are going oh, some centimeters, maybe two centimeters or three in some spaces. Because this tank, it's like that, okay? It's going down, okay? It's special designed, so all the dirty will be here in this space. And this is how it looks like after. We have a very good oilers, very good guys. They make fast job, very clean job. And this is how it looks like after, okay? This is from where the suction take place, okay? From here suction the pump. And this is very very important to be clean. And this is guys how it looks like down the tanks. It's like double bottom. Okay, you can pass through these sections. And here is one picture with air blowing down. Okay, as you can see here and here also. Okay, that is it guys, do not use uh, chemicals, use some EnviroClean, something like that, which not affected your oily water separator, okay? Thank you for watching, Th check my previous videos, stay tuned to Adventure Story channel, bye bye.